It's LA's 97.1 Amp Radio. It's McCabe in the SoCal Honda Soundstage. Today joined by singer, songwriter, musician, all-around cool cat, Chris Cab. How are you? Very well, man. Out of Miami. Yes, sir. You made it to Los Angeles. You brought kind of some of the, the weather with you. I mean, um, I don't think this is the Miami this is, weather. This is not the Miami weather. Um, <laughs> you were showing me some photos. I mean, Miami is just beautiful. You grew up there. Um, I mean, growing up, what was what was the vibe like in the town and then also music for you? Well, Miami's a, like a huge melting pot of culture. There's so many different cultures there. I'm, I'm of Cuban descent, but, you know, there's people from all over the world, a lot of Hispanics, a lot of Europeans, so... The flavor is just out of control, you know. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a big, like, gumbo, you know. Uh -huh. So that's kind of what the music's like, a lot of Latin music. And uh, I guess that's why it was kind of cool, because the timing right now with everything, you know. Oh, totally. Lining up. Uh, and, I mean, so growing up in your household, were, were your parents musicians? Um, was no. it something you just kind of picked up on your own? You're like, okay, this is what I want to do? Yeah, yeah, kind of something I picked up on my own. My mom was pretty much tone deaf. You know, she likes oh. to drive in silence, that kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of just picked up the guitar when I was nine and, and taught myself and ended up writing and, and recording and everything. When did you kind of know that this was the direction you wanted to go? I think is when I, I started joining like a garage bands in elementary school. And okay. I think like when we played our first party and everything, I felt like, yeah, this is this is cool. I like this. <laughs> did you always have sort of the uh, the, the Latin route? I mean, did, were, were you in like a rock band? Were, uh, did you have other influences kind of growing up? Um, well, I listened to a lot of uh, reggae growing up. I spent a lot of time growing up in the Bahamas, so I listened to like Bob Marley and Buju Banton. So, and then rock at the same time when I was playing guitar, I was listening to like you know the Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan. Mm -hmm. So I always had like a reggae rock fusion kind of. But then being Cuban, you know, there was always the Hispanic flavor there as well. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some of your covers that you've posted on Facebook. You go onto your mm -hmm. Facebook page, you do some great you know covers and, and uh, some live sessions. Uh, but you do also hang out in some beautiful spots. Um, I mean, just going on your Instagram. You, you've been like in paradise for the past couple of weeks. Um, yeah. where, what have you been doing and what have you been up to to kind of like reboot for, for 2019? Um, it was really cool. I actually went out to the Bahamas and, and I was out there for, for eight days with uh, some, some, good, uh, some good culinary people. I have a buddy who's a chef from Paris. Okay. And he was like, take me out there and I'll cook for you. I was like, done. <laughs> so You were you were like actually catching some some food like straight from the sea yeah. uh, type of stuff. Like, it, it, Do you do that normally? Is that is that yeah. something you're kind of into? All the time, man. Uh, my father was a big fisherman. You know, loved fishing. And then right behind, you know, where I go in the Bahamas, there's lobster. Literally, you pick them out of the sea. Wow. So grab them, throw them on the grill. We may have to get you out here. We'll go to Marina Del Rey. We'll get some, I some heard about fishing that. out there as well. We can... Bring your chef out and do some cooking. Out That's here. right, Pierre. Where you at? <laughs> Pierre, get down here. <laughs> get to on, LA. <laughs> um, but now for 2019, uh, let's talk about "Just Wanna Love You" and teaming up with Jay Balvin. The song uh, is is fire. It's so good. And was was he someone that you had thought of initially for the record? Not initially. Um, I had made the record and I'd become friends with Jay maybe like four or five years ago um, through Pharrell, who's my mentor. He was like, "Yo, pay attention to Jay. He's gonna take off." You know, I connected with them. We, we stayed in touch. And then when I made the song, I had that reggaeton flavor. So I sent it to him. I'm like, yo, this is your lane, you know, more so. Like, what do you think of it? He's right. like, man, I love this song. He's like, I want to jump on it. And I was like, you're like, you're like, like, nah, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm going to hold it. off a little bit. I'm going to hold <laughs> off. No, I mean, smart move by putting Jay Balvin on it. Absolutely. Um, what well, can you tell us about the song and kind of where you were when you were writing it and, you know, about the song? Um, I think at the time I was with, uh, I was in a, my last relationship, I was with, the, with my ex, and um, I, I was kind of, we were just kind of going through it, and I was just like, yo, let's not make this so complicated, why don't we just, you know, why don't we just let love do its thing, and she was like, no, I want to be crazy, and I was like, okay, so okay. let's just do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you find yourself using uh, a lot of relationships uh, for your music? Um, yeah, absolutely, all the time. I think I write a lot about relationships, because that's, I mean, that's something that affects everybody, you mm -hmm. know? And something everybody could could relate to, and I think I was always like a romantic kid since I was young. Right. You know. No, and does that kind of set the tone for the body of work that you want uh, for for an album and for 2019? Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think this is this is you know the first of many. Got a lot of new tracks. Been working with Pharrell a bunch. Okay. Working with some other amazing artists. I'm gonna keep on the low because I don't want to ruin it yet. Sure. Come on, just share with us <laughs> something. Uh... Well, somebody I've been, I'll share something with you. Somebody I've been becoming great friends with now is uh, Lenny Kravitz. Oh, okay, wow. So I think I'm going to, I think we're, we're working on something together too. So that could be really cool. Dude, rock, that would be amazing. Rock, reggae, reggaeton, oh, yeah. fusion. Dude, and then having, I mean, having Pharrell as a mentor um, and getting to work with all these musicians, um, you know, what, what does he bring to the table for you and, and having him as a mentor? 
Yeah. Um, so much, man. Pharrell's so cool. He's he's like a big brother. I mean, even out here in L.A. when I've gone to, to spots like the Sayers Club to perform, and I've told him, shot him a text, yo, I'm going to play our new song tonight. He's like, I'm there. Dude. Showed up, jumped on stage with me, gave me the whole, you know, this is the kid speech. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, is, he's super cool. Has man. there been like one sort of like word of advice that he's mm -hmm. kind of given that has always stayed true to you and you've kind of always taken with you? I think just from watching him, one of the coolest things I see about Pharrell is that he's such a hard worker, and this is somebody who does like three or four songs a day, mm -hmm. not just one. This guy does so much and throws so many different sounds against the wall that that's why he always wins, you know? Mm -hmm. He's just constantly working and constantly trying to listen to what the world wants to hear at the time. He like really, really good at listening to like what the people want. You well, know? I think you are too, and you know, you're in the studio constantly right now and, and working, and I think I saw another... Uh, a piece with silence is that something Ooh, i had that, seen that, that was something i was working so on is the that other something day. you're working on as well are you kind of constantly in the studio and, and and working on material all the time every day that's the only way to to figure it out you know because uh -huh. you know it's it's like you're every time you're you're making a song it's like being in the kitchen add a little of this add a little of that right right so every day you're cooking something and just seeing what the different flavors add up to and what can we expect <clears throat> for 2019 a tour uh yeah, you want to get there and perform and you know, what do you want to do Definitely looking to, to get out and perform. I, you know, performing something I love doing. Love playing guitar. Love singing live and connecting with the fans. So, be doing that. Going to be promoting a lot of new music, a lot of new visuals. Okay, and we also have your birthday coming up on Monday. Yep. Um, yep. What do you got planned for your birthday? Where can we sneak into your party? Where are you going to be at? Jumping out here in Los Angeles. Look around. <laughs> I'm not going to say where. I don't want right, to create any chaos. Right. But uh -huh. just look out for me on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in, in Hollywood, Los Angeles. Somewhere in area. Hollywood, I'll be out. <laughs> um, and you know, and let's just go back to Miami for a second before you go. Uh, what are some spots that you recommend that we should go to uh, in Miami if we've never been? If you guys are going to Miami for the first time, you want to have some fresh Miami cuisine, local cuisine, not expensive at all, just fresh fish, there's a spot called Garcia's, you know, fish okay. market. All right. And you go there, you order the whole fried snapper, and you order the fried lobster and the shrimp escargot. There you have it. Chris Cab knows. He knows his Miami <laughs> cuisines. Um, we look forward to everything you have for 2019. We want to thank you for stopping by Amp Radio. Just Want to Love You is the single with Jay Balvin. Um, and please, anytime you want to come back to Amp Radio, you're more than welcome to. Yes, sir. And happy, happy early birthday as well. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Actually, we do have a, uh, we have, a, a, I believe, a birthday little surprise as well. If we can bring uh -oh. if that's round. What do we got? Let's see, let's see what we got. What do we got over here? Oh, oh uh -oh. there it is. Get out there of town. We go. <laughs> happy birthday. Let's Thank all you so much. Happy birthday wow. to Chris. Oh. We want to sing. Uh, that is a slippery cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Chris to Chris. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Chris Cap. Happy birthday from 97. Thank you for my slippery cake. <laughs> <laughs> now we eat. <laughs>